Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rat here from Ratko Tarot and this is going to be Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon and Pisces Rising monthly tarot reading for September 2018. So, uh, while I'm shuffling the cards, I want to remind you guys that in case you are interested in a private reading with me, um, my website is written down below in the description of this video and there you can find a full list of the services that I'm providing as well as their pricings. Also, as it is the end of the summer, there is a summer end going, uh, summer end sale going on, which uh, makes the 30-minute uh, service automatically a 40-minute one. So that set aside, let's cut the cards and see what awaits you, Pisces, for the month of September. Uh, now, <clears throat> the first card here will show a, a circumstances or conditions that you are carrying on from July to September and that they do have an impact upon your month. Next card is about the month itself or that will be the topic of the month followed by the outlook of the future or these are the things that you can go for should you choose to so very situational card. Then is uh, the uh, best possible course of action regarding the uh, topic of the month itself uh, followed by the fifth card, which is the attitude of the people that are involved into your situations and in, in that are in your environment. The sixth card is about the difficulties, the predicaments you have to face for the duration of the month. And the last one represents the final outcome here. So this is um, how you're going to wrap up everything, uh, how the month is going to end for you. So Pisces, the first card, which is about the circumstances you are carrying on, we do have the Tree of uh, Wands. So the Tree of Wands is associated with that you are uh, moving on on already a solidly established patterns, which means that it is likely that whatever work you have done in the month of July now will start to pay off, as your efforts um, will totally be um, acknowledged by your expectations. What I mean is that whatever expectation you do have for a certain toil you have placed, that expectation will uh, have the result that you are expecting. So that being said, uh, you can expect in the in the uh, months in the September to collect the fruits of your labor. You know, if you have worked toward a, a monetary success, to have that monetary monetary success as well. If you have worked to uh, obtain a certain trust, that will as well happen, etc., etc. The point with the tree of wands it is uh, is that it is very. Um, it is a card of synchrony here, so you will have total synchrony in between uh, what you put in and what you take out of it. So uh, I hope that you did not um, slack into the month of July, but you really put the hard work behind, you know, your agendas and your goals, so you can um, you can now collect the fruits of your labor, as I said. But also the Tree of Wands is about a, a higher challenges or challenges which kind of surpass uh, so-called the um, the known limit that you do have for yourself. And those challenges will help you to grow. So in other words, you may discover that you are working, that you have worked in the past below one's standards and below one's capabilities. And now in September, you may have the prerequisite to ask for a promotion or to ask for a higher position into one's relationships as well. Now, the next card represents the topic of the month. And we do have the Sun card, which is a appropriate continuation to the tree of wants the sun card is about happiness it is about joy it is about natural unfoldment of one's uh, undertakings one's enterprises as well this card points that whatever difficulties you had especially with people they are very likely to be settled down and reaching peace and a state of harmony with those people so if you do had a troubles into your relationship because you are trying to have the things your way here or you are working toward a, a certain state of the relationship and that caused problems in between you and your partner. Now those problems will be resolved here into the duration of, uh, 
month of September. The Sun card also points that you are going to feel very happy and your happiness will be extremely contagious. So whatever you go, also you are going to encourage people, you will going to give a, a very uh, good example of how one state should be and as well you will be that gentle soul dropping a, a bit of happiness everywhere it goes and that is again could be a prerequisite that you are kind of re-evaluated regarding your position into your career regarding your position into your relationship and reassigned into a higher spot into a higher position the key here however with the sun card Pisces is that you need to have a little bit patience because as I said you need to allow your situations to unfold naturally for example if it is about promotion it is unlikely that you should uh, kind of approach your boss and ask for it most likely your boss will approach you and offer it to you so for such kind of unfoldment I'm talking about because your boss is monitoring you quite closely and they with the Sun card they are quite happy with the recent work you have done especially having those both um, next to one another so let's see what additionally you can do for yourself for the duration of the month now we do have another one's card so that will be a crazy month we do have a fiery energy which is a highly active one physically active one what i mean the two of ones points to a capitalization of um <clears throat> of one's efforts and of one's um idea or establishing one's positions uh, so uh, not cap uh, capitalization but um, establishing one's positions and I will try to explain you what I'm talking about here with um, a rough example so this isn't about success this isn't about reaching a conclusion into one's achievement but it is about establishing that you are the one who is going to proceed with a certain uh, with that undertaking either your career either your relationship show so we are talking about that you need to present yourself very strong and very capable so you can be assigned as the leader of the force as <clears throat> the two of ones points that you need to improve your personal capabilities and as we see as we saw with the three of ones those personal capabilities can be improved only by one taking the challenges which one feels a little bit insecure of taking for the one things that one lacks either skill or one lacks either knowledge and in that particular sense the two of one speaks for research especially the fields where you can exert you know your current capabilities and also speaks for a little bit aggression which is something something highly unadvisable here having the sun card all right aggression where you demand things all right so looking at this card at this card maybe what you demand will be given to you but the cost will be higher if you wait it out you know and it is given to you willingly so it will almost seem like you are uh, twisting hands here if you demand um, what you are after <clears throat> two of ones uh, advises you really to seek uh, in this month you, you know expanding of one's estate and expanding of one's career as well very very potent month for such kind of activity so what is the best case to, uh, what is the best way to capitalize on the sun card another fiery card so that will be the wheel of fortune and basically this card says only one thing uh, here that you have to take advantage of every single opening that is given to you with no hesitation whatsoever because the wheel of fortune falling into a best course of action points that now in this month of September Pisces you do have a total control upon where your fate is going to lead you so basically now instead of um, <clears throat> the hand of the divine holds the wheel of your ship you are the one who is holding it and where you're going to point your ship that depends entirely on you you need to know however that the wheel of fortune is associated with a little bit of a chaos you know but usually the the, the people which are connected with the card uh, are not affected by that chaos and exactly from this chaos is where opportunity arises so um <clears throat> 
that as well, you know, when I think about it, that as well could be could come as a, a sense of that you are almost taking advantage of certain people or of certain situations, you know, but this is an opportunity. I mean, uh, every time you take an opportunity, you are taking advantage of the circumstances. So basically, this is what the, that card asks you to do, to take advantage of the circumstances, even if that means that you are taking advantage of certain people. And you need to know that these people will be very uh, happy to um, cooperate with you having the Sun card. Not, not only that they will have faith in you, but as well, these people will place a great hopes um, in you and there won't be any envy as well or any jealousy simply these people will want to see you happy because their happiness your happiness will be as well their happiness for some reason and let's see what the attitude of the rest is going to be we do but that that gets even better and better this is the ten of pentacles uh, so uh, you're gonna prove your worth here in front of a certain society or in front of a very valuable person uh, who is now uh, holding you very tight on a leash and uh, in the month of September that leash is going to news up lose up excuse me so uh, yeah, you are going to earn a certain um, extent of independency and that extent could be very severe. That could be, um, I don't want to kind of like, um, you know, boost your rockets here, Pisces, but let's uh, give you that example. Let's say that you are working for a very big company and you have been a supervisor for quite some time now. You are doing everything you can to... Uh, raise yourself into the ladder of the hierarchy etc etc and this month you may be offered to lead a branch of the company you know what i mean so you are kind of earning independence there and yet you're using the resources which you are currently uh, kind of like you know have a um, disposal of that you are have on uh, on your disposal very positive card that means the people will have tremendous trust in you i hope that you don't uh, that you don't uh, betray that trust pisces but you just do your best here and always go for uh, you know for being sincere for um, support your actions with candor as well and it is very important to always speak up your mind and try to approach aggression with love and kindness this is the way how you deal with it for the duration of the month of september one more thing with the uh, ten of pentacles this could be uh, also this card could also point that someone will try to reconcile and this is not going to be a romantic reconciliation here but some friend of yours uh, which uh, mistreated you in the past and you kind of um, denied them you know you you kind of cut any connections with them and you exclude them from your social circle they may try to make attempt here to regain back position in it uh, deeply um, having deep um, regrets for what they done so they have learned their lesson and the card advise you here Pisces to try to give them a another chance so uh, let's see what will be the challenges I'm very curious about that card we do have the seven of swords so seven of swords in that particular case speaks for rumors and speaks for um, misunderstanding should I say that way and from these rumors and understanding you may face a snowballing effect where people some people will may start you know believing those rumors this will not have that much of an impact upon you but you may start feeling that there uh, uh, certain boundaries are arising in between you and those which are involved uh, with you into the into the situations but because these people will have trust in you and they will put a uh, great hopes in most likely these uh, differences can and should be overcome here however for some of you this uh, <clears throat> card could represent extremely uh, independent and uh, outsourcing influence should I say that way peripheral influence which is kind of uh, tackling with your projects and this um, just to give you an example here that could be let's say that you're working for that firm you become the branch manager you know but you have to deal with another company which is a, a subcontractor and for some reason you just cannot get through with them 
and they are exterior you know influence which is not the people involved in your situations they are uh, entirely separate you know entirely separate structure here and you may have a, a tough time to get through to them uh, because they will have their reserves toward the new guy you know what I mean they will kind of like not have much faith in your capabilities but also this could be an infiltration of a third party uh, not from your side however so this uh, this entirely reading points that you will have that you won't have a, a direct um, interaction with that person and that could be someone who is trying to steal your boyfriend or a girlfriend that could be someone who is whispering into their ears to um, you know to uh, damage your relationship highly unlikely that they will be able so but there will be a, a pain in the ass you know there will be that torn um, in your in, in your thumb <clears throat> on your um, on your feet and you have to do something about it while you do have that tremendous energy here of uh, of potency should I say that way to uh, to sprinkle <clears throat> confidence to sprinkle happiness everywhere you go and uh, even if this is someone who is trying to seduce your partner uh, as soon as you do have that strong presence in your relationship it is highly unlikely that your partner is going to budge in uh, on such a oppression on, on such a attack but you have to acknowledge the problem giving it a silent treatment pretending that this isn't happening or that it's going to solve itself on its own accord this isn't the case with the seven of uh, wands the more you prolong the um, the confrontation the harder it becomes afterwards to resolve the issue and the last card here Pisces points to the end of the month how you're gonna feel there you know what will be the result of all that we do have the ten of cups which points to uh, ultimate personal satisfaction and what is the good about this card is that there is so much more to be achieved you know so you will find yourself at the end of the month very happy, loved probably as well, without any issues whatsoever. Now we didn't saw any issues here but the Ten of Cups, it's reassuring us that you're gonna find yourself into a place where the problems will just bypass you, leaving you unaffected, all right? And this is going to where is going to be the time where you have to start looking around yourself and pick up the next challenge. What we said here is that you improve through challenges. So not that you just carry on that energy from the month of July, but you will continue carrying it on into the month of um, <clears throat> October as well. And uh, when we talk about the Ten of Cups as a uh, final outcome, it is likely, you know, that you will settle down with your partner into your uh, into your relationship. You will uh, again settle down with your family as well, uh, reaching a uh, understanding. Now, resolving differences is one thing, but reaching mutual understanding it is entirely different. So at the end, you are going to meet that, and everybody will be happy from the resolution of whatever undertaking you are. Um, <clears throat> you're trying to push through and when we talk about that card about success it speaks that you will be entirely satisfied of how far you went and again this isn't just this isn't as far as you can go Pisces so it is very important to recognize that fact as well and ask simply for more ask the life for more but what one last thing I'm going to say here guys is that um, just from the tarot cards it's impossible to uh, predict uh, in general reading in which field this is going to happen but I hope is it it is in a field where you have lost hope in because you are going to regain back your hope and all of a sudden your life will start worth living again this is basically what the month of September is going to be. Really happy for you, Pisces. I hope that you can utilize upon that, um, upon these energies. So that being said, this was your uh, monthly tarot reading for September 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and again in case you're interested in a private reading with me everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.